Let's find out how we can use the query tool in Access to retrieve data from the sample database, like the class database. First, um, we can switch over to query, look at all the existing query. And if you need to create a new one, you use create, you go to create and choose query design. Let's say we're interested in um, retrieving some information about courses. So you would choose course, choose add, and say OK. The system now allowed us to work with this course table. Okay. Let me show you one more time. If you don't need this table, you can say remove table. If you want this table, you can say show table and choose the table that you want to close it. If you want to select any column to be displayed, you just double click it. If you want to find out the result of the query, you just say run or view. Now you get all the courses that's in the underlying course table. And we're showing the course ID, title, and fee. We're not showing the division that offered this course. You can switch over to look at the design view. You can also actually go to SQL view to look at the select statement. Select course ID, course the title, the fee from the course table. The prefix table name dot C underscore ID. In this case, the table name is not necessary because we are query against only a single table. In this case, you can basically get rid of this table prefix. And it will work still. Let's study this form here. The field row you can select a particular column. Selecting a column, for instance, title, let me get rid of it. If you move the cursor over on the top, click on it, you can delete the column. If you want this column, you can either double click to select it or drag and draw to move it to the right place. Okay. Let me just show you one more time. Um, if you want this title show up at the end, you drag and drop here. If you want it in the middle, you put it. You can move it around if you wish. Okay. So this is the column that you're selecting. This is the table where those column is from and here we're only using a single table you can sort the data for instance if you want to sort um, the listing by title in ascending order then it is sorted in ascending order if you want to sort it in descending order you choose descending so it is showing in descending order. Okay. Uh, let's, if you don't want to sort it, you just say not sort. In, let's look at the fee. Uh, it's from 300 to 550. So let's assume you, you have some budget constraint that you can only take courses whose fee is less than four hundred dollars in that case you just say four hundred less equal four hundred the fee has to be less equal to four hundred if you run it there's only three courses left 
Okay. You can say I want to sort the fee in ascending order. Then this is what you have. If you look at here, I have two courses with the same fee. And if you want to sort within the same fee, you want to sort the title, course title in ascending order, which means the intro to C should be the one listed second, and the window NT should be listed the third row. How can you do that? This is how you can deal with this situation. If you say, well, I'm going to sort the title in ascending order. If you run it, then you find out that we are sorting the title first, and certainly there's no time, and then just sorting by the feed doesn't really change anything because the system is going to use the title as the first sorting order and the fee as a second sorting order. If you want the fee to be the first sorting order and then followed by the title as a second sorting order, this is what you have to do. Don't sort the title. Still show the title because we want the title. Drag and drop title over here. Sort it in ascending order or certain descending order, depends on your preference. But don't show this column, because we already have the column title display. So here, with picking this title, just purely try to specify uh, the second sorting order, not for display purpose. For the display purpose, because we want the course ID, course title, and fee to be displayed in that sequence. So you have to lay it out in this sequence title will be used as a second sorting order so uh, we have to select this title but you you're not going to display it so if we run it we sort it by fee in ascending order if there's a tie we're sorting by the title in ascending order so this accomplished what we have in mind okay and if you want for instance course who's B is say uh, let's let's get rid of this condition. Run it. We have course from 300, 450, 550, and there's it's very flexible in terms of the condition that you can specify. For instance, you can say I want the course to be greater equal 350. Then you're saying all the courses that's 350 and above. If you want courses that's between, is it or not? Is the keyword for between? Between 350 and 450. And we're getting courses whose fee is between 350 and 450. Okay. And another trick that's very useful is for instance course title if you want to search a course that's kind of an intro course and you can do the following like you use a keyword called like and single quote and you will say I'm going to choose the title started with intro I don't care what's follow, but as long as start with intro, it's considered a match. We, we actually call this wild card search, that asterisk is a wild card character. And so in this case, if you run it, and you find all the course title with intro, started with intro will be displayed. Okay. Once again, it's like, space, in single quote and we put intro and then asterisk for all the courses that start with intro okay so if you want to find any courses that has intro in it then you can use asterisk intro asterisk in this case i think we're getting the same result okay because it 
it this only this is more generic any course that has intro in its title would be selected like keyword only work with column that has a string data type and that complete our t um, short tutorial on creating query against a single table.